Now from City Field in Flushing. Here's Michael Brantley. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Leading off tonight for Houston. The right Ready to deliver. Here's Michael the first pitch. Brantley. No balls and a strike to count. First pitch. 7 0 7. Popped straight up, but this will land untouched. Oh. And on 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. Temperature starting to drop as the sun goes down. 56 degrees here at first pitch. The one two. That ball misses two. ball two. Two balls, two strikes. The two two he is swung on and missed strike three. And that'll bring up the former first that rounder, exactly. Alex Bregman. Head-to-head -head history with Marcus Stroman. Alex. He's 0 for 11. Oh, and he had to be looking for something else to start the at-bat. It's 0 and 1. And they go right after him here as he swings and misses. Strike two. Man, you don't see this in today's game that much. A guy who's willing to work east-west consistently with a great cutter two-seamer combo. Got him swinging. Got Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. First pitch on its way. A ball and no strikes. Two out, nobody on. Oh, looked like he was towing an anchor there. One and two. That's a real tough pitch to hit. That's as, in the pitcher's jargon, we call that the Hall of Fame pitch. That slider down and in. Nope. Really, the only way you're going to be able to hit that pitch is if you're looking for it down and in. And still then, it's a really difficult pitch to hit. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. So we're under in scoring position with two men gone. And former World Series MVP George Springer bats next. Ball one. Hey, I know we're only in the top of the first, but back-breaking blows are those two out. Runners in scoring position knocks, and they have a chance to capitalize right here. Boy, you, oh, you touched it on it right there. I think as a pitcher, you try to get through that first inning and not have to show all of your pitches and empty out the bucket. That two-out double right now, he's going to have to buckle down to try to keep this game scoreless. Hard hit ball to second. Fielded cleanly. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that into the box now. J.D. Davis, he'll lead things off Lee here Ross. in the bottom we'll half of the first. The third baseman. First pitch on J. its J. way from Verlander. David. Line but speared on a hop. And the inning begins with a quick out number one. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring in the shortstop, Jed Lowry. Lowry. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring in Jeff McNeil. Verlander gets the sign. Here comes the first pitch. A fastball here, and this is softly hit and fouled off to the left. A late swing on the slider, and quickly it's 0-2. Line towards center field. Springer is there, and they go down in a hurry here. Is this now the Q 
Cuban import Yuli Gurriel. Head to head history with Marcus Stroman. Two hits in seven tries. First pitch coming. Here it is. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind. Nothing in two. Hey, guys, that's just a nasty pitch right there. I can't tell you how many nightmares I've had about nasty sliders, and that's exactly what that was right there. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider. Nothing in one. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now. Hey, that's a really good pitch right there. And that's one of those off-balance swings. As a pitcher, you want to look in and say, howdy, if you're waving at me. A real ugly swing, and it gives you a lot of confidence when you make a guy look that bad. So hopefully he has another pitch left in his repertoire to bury this guy and get him out of there. And that misses inside 1-0. That's by him for strike one. Look out, one and one. Hey. And he's keeping it down here, and that's a called strike two. Off the oh, outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. And just a masterful job of pitching. Coming to the plate now, Peter Alonzo. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. The first baseman, number 20. Number 12. The wind up and the 0 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Here's Verlander now on 0 and 2. Fly ball out toward left center field. On the move is Springer. He gets there and makes the play for the first down. So that striding is. in, Michael Conforto. He'll get to take Michael. his first cuts here. Conforto. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. Now batting, Wilson Ramos, as he'll get his first Wilson. opportunity in this one. Wilson. First pitch Ramos. on its way. Swing and a liner. Foul. From the belt, the pitch. This is in the air out to right. Brentley is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Oh, and the throwback in is a wild one. Here's your one assessed with it. His That's line that. against Justin Verlander. Oh, He's gone four for oh, nine. Right. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Here's a ground ball out to the shortstop, Correa. And the throw just does beat him at the bag. So this. Stepping into the box, Robinson Chirino. He'll step in to lead it off in the top of the third. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. Man, this has been a game filled of a lot of swings and misses. Not very many confident swings. And this team up there, they'd swing at a butterfly right now if it flew in front of the plate. Lots of swings, lots of misses, a lot of ugly at-bats for this team right now. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Justin Verlander. Third inning, no score to this point. A ball and two strikes to the Astros pitcher. 
a great take on that slider away right there. But I'm thinking in that situation, that pitcher's got to execute a little bit better. That was almost a non-competitive pitch. Being outside, you could almost have let that one now go that right out right of the hand. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Yeah. Justin Verlander goes down for out number two in the top half. Nope, Low for ball one. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. That's a foul ball off to the left and it moves to one and two. And my goodness, how about this? He struck out. Here's Juan Lagares now. He's got a base hit tonight. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. Line to the right side. He'll get to this one deep in the hole. And he set down one away. Ready now, Marcus Stroman. The pitcher. Marcus. Here comes the first pitch. Whoa, man. This is foul right side. The wind up and the 0 1. Here's a little chopper up the middle. On to first, and very quickly, two are gone here in the home third. Stepping in and ready for another shot. J.D. Davis. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Hit hard to the right, but foul. 0 oh and 1, here it comes. Hit on the ground out to short. He had a close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. Next up for the Strohs, Alex Bregman. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matt. He's got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way. And that'll get by into left field, so he's on to lead off the inning. At the plate, number 44. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Owen won the count. Swing and a miss, and he's in control. Owen two. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Now that is the cover first pitch coming. Here it is, and he fouls this one off. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. But this will land untouched. 0-2, oh here it is. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. A ball and a strike to count to the Astros' first baseman. Well, that two-seam fastball ran a little too much off the plate, but now that sets him up to work with something away and maybe even an off-speed pitch. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. So two balls and two strikes now. Well, one thing about him, he's an absolute grinder at the plate. You can pretty much count on him battling at the plate every chance he gets. And yet another strikeout here. Striding in once again, Jed Lowry. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch on its way from Verlander. That's lifted the other way out to left. Left fielder has a beat on it. One down. Jeff McNeil will be the next to take a turn. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Line toward center field. Now gets down and he's got himself a base hit. So a runner on first with one out now. And up steps the power bat of Peter Alonzo. First pitch coming. Here it is. 
mind to the right side. A dive, but he can't come up with it in right as it skips right past him. McNeil rounds third and is digging for the plate. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. Stepping in, Michael Conforto, one for one. The white he reached base with a double Michael. his first time up. Yeah, he jumped Michael. all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach to A.B. 0-1 count and the pitch. Hard hit ball to second. Only play is going to be a first, so score it as an RBI ground out as the lead moves to 2 to nothing now. Digging in, Wilson Ramos fly down in his first half bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Toward the gap in right center, this is going to be a base hit, and he may take that big turn at first. And big trouble as this gets to the wall now. Oh, and the throw back in is a wild one. But it's backed up well, so luckily there will be no advance. Man at second here with two away. And up next, the big RBI-minded bat of Joanna Cespedes. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. Hit sharply toward the right side. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. Here's Carlos Correa now, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. First pitch of the at-bat. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball one and one. The ball and two strikes. All right, let's take a step back right here. He's down one, two, three fastballs in a row. There is no way he's throwing them a four. Uh, he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ballgame. So one away here with the bases empty, and striding in the speedy second baseman, Jose Altuve. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. Wow, that's four straight Ks. He's knocking them down. He's looking for number five right here. You can tell this guy on the mound, he is pitching with a whole lot of confidence in this one. The next 0 2. And another foul ball. One out, nobody on. Nope. And he couldn't get him to chase the 0 2 fastball. It's 1 and 2. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters. 13 strikeouts now. First delivery to him on the way. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one.
one and one to Chirinos. Now, ball and two strikes now. Hey, this offense needs to check themselves right now. They have to find a way to get somebody on base. A swing and a miss. That retired. Here's Juan Lagares. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Back to work now as Verlander as the first pitch of the inning is swung on and missed for strike one. Not an easy thing to do to fill up the strike zone and be successful doing it. How about this guy so far in this one? 100% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Next to him will be the pitcher, Marcus Stroman. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Liner toward right center. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. So the lineup flips over and digging in. J.D. Davis, 0 for 2 for him to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. A ground ball to third, and they could get two. Altuve for one. Over to Gurriel for an inning-ending double. Leading off the inning, Justin Verlander. And they'll need him to get something going here. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. O2 once more. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Digging in, Michael Brantley. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked. He got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Lowry in foul ground. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. No runs, two hits, no errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. To two balls and two strikes now. Number 16 thus far as he's had a whale of a ball game. The first baseman, number two. Stepping up to the Alex. plate, Alex Bregman. Bregman. One for two on his line so Three far in the game. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. He's certainly done an amazing job right here. Grinding to get early two outs with the number two hitter. And, the... and another one. Digging in the switch hitter, Jed Lowry. He'll get things started here in the second half of the sixth. Not shortstop, Jed Lowry. Bouncer up the middle. Correa has it. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. Now bad. One away now for the Mets in the sixth, and that'll bring in Jeff McNeil. Now a hard liner, but foul. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Hit out towards second. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. So here's the cleanup hitter, Peter Alonso. One for two with a triple so far in this one. Line toward the alley in left center. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. So it's a runner at first with right two men out. And up next, the left-handed hitting Michael Conforto. Conforto. First pitch of the at-bat. Bullet back up the middle. Springer is there, and it's a very... Striding in for Houston, number 44. He doubled earlier in the game. One for two to this point. And he throws the fast. Oh, 
one's the count. Oh, and one, here it comes. Hit softly down the line at first, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Struck him out. 18 strikeouts for him now. Settling in now, George Springer, who has sat down on strikes in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. He's obviously been very impressive on the mound in this one. And I think the big reason why is his ability to stay out of the middle of the zone. That's kind of obvious, but it's clear to me that even when he misses his spots, he's not missing over the plate. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Strike three. 19 strikeouts for him now. now so the coming to the plate, Yuli Gurriel. No hits to this point. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. We've seen him go down on strikes more than once in this game, so this has been a better approach by him at this at bat. Much more patient, and he's got himself into a good hitter's count. Boy, he just threw that fastball by him. Boy, he looks strong out there on the mound this inning. He's got a chance to punch out the side in order and against the middle of the order, too. Throw in time, and the side is retired. At the plate, Wilson Ramos. He doubled his last time through. Here comes the first pitch. Big swing, but he just gets a piece of it. Strike one. Line towards center field. Springer patrolling center makes the play one out. Now got it. Standing in, Joanna Cespedes. First pitch coming. Here it is. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Hey, it's really hard to pitch a gem, and what helps? This guy's first pitch strike percentage, how about 100%? Can't get any better than that. Now at the plate, one Lagarde. He's hitless 12. in his two at-bats so Four. far. From the stretch. No balls in one strike. Line to the right side. Coming on is Brantley, but he won't get there. It's a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Chris Davinsky takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. First pitch of the at-bat. Oh, on the ground is short. Could this be two to second for one on the first? And how about that for an end? Leading off the inning, Carlos Correa, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Ground ball foul down the left side. The one two hops this one up. Davis moving to his left. One out. Now at the play, Jose Altuve. He's hitless in the game, as is much of the rest of his team. There's a good breaking ball as it gets the bottom of the zone. You know, guys, sometimes guys don't like pulling the trigger. Oh, oh. They want to see something go by, calibrate the speed, calibrate the break, and then make their adjustments off that. Maybe that's the case right here. And there's out number two. At the 
plate, yeah, Martin yeah. Centurinos. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. First pitch on its way. And he got him out in front that time. Strike one. Oh, and a good tight slider there, and he's in command, nothing in two. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at-bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. 2-2 oh, two and two count to the Astros catcher. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. That gets down, and the inning will continue. He's through first and hustling for second. And he will pull into second with a two-out double. Josh Reddick will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 22, Josh Reddick. Hit on the ground for the left. Backhanded. And the decision to take a shot at third backfires as he's in there safely. Jake Marisnik will be summoned down. Edwin Diaz please. trots in from the bullpen now, here as he inherits a tough spot with two on Number and two 39. away. Edwin Diaz. First delivery to him on the way. One a ball and no strikes. Bobby Cox always used to say, I'm going to put you in positions to be successful. Well, Here against the modern-day bullpen, easier said than done. These guys are throwing flames from all arm angles. Ball taken there. Two and one now. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. And he'll strike out here yet again. Hector Rondon is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Leading up. Now back to the top of the Mets order. The digging in, J.D. Davis. JD. He'll see what he can do leading off the home eight. Takes this the other way to right. And that'll make him one for four in this one. So we'll see if they have something in the works here with the leadoff hitter aboard and a guy that can really handle the bat in the number two spot. Now about it. Stop. Here's Jed Lowry yeah. now. Lead off man on base. Lowry. And we'll see what they have in mind strategy-wise here. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Next for the Mets, Jeff McNeil. Now he was a ground out victim Number last six. time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll two. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Line hard to the left side. But foul. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. 
sent on the ground out to second. A diving effort as it's off his glove. And they'll be left with no play as that's going to load the bases now on what should be ruled an infield single. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Springer on the run. And he makes the play, but this should extend their lead as the runner tags from third. And that'll bring home run number three. It's now a 3 nothing cushion. Ready once again, Michael Conforto. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. First offering on its way. Now this is chopped foul to home plate. It's 0-1. Hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Joe Smith answers the call now, looking to get this one onto the ninth inning without any trouble. Wilson Ramos will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. He's set and the pitch. In there, strike one. Here's a shot to right field, and that's going to be in for a base hit. McNeil rounds the corner and is headed home. Safe at the plate as they extend the lead to five zip. Here's the left fielder, Yoannis Cespedes. In terms of previous meetings with Joe Smith, batting 500, 5 for 10. He also has one home run. Line drive to center field. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. Riding into the box, Juan Lagares is working on a 1 for 3 thus far. First delivery to him on the way. On the ground is short. This could be two. There's one. On to first as they get the double. So digging in now, Alex Bregman. He'll start things out against the closer, Edwin Diaz. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. Counts even one and one to Alex Bregman. He ties him up with a fastball inside. One and two. Hit back up the middle. And Lowry won't be able to track it down. This gets through a base hit. Now in the box, number 44. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. No balls and a strike to count. Setting him up inside as he swings and misses for strike two. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Now a fastball on the inside corner and he takes a look at strike one. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Soft grounder left side. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the sure out. Now with the plate, Yuli Gurriel, a runner in scoring position with Sugar. Breaking ball called just a bit low. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. And a good eye that time to lay off the fastball. It's 3-0. and oh. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two outs. As a look now to pick. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Throw on to first is going to be in time to get him. And the Mets are going to take a two games to one lead in our series. They take the pivotal game three here at home as the ball game is over. The final line score for our ball game tonight.
Welcome to the show, everyone. Thanks for making us a part of your morning. Let's jump into the latest news from around the Major League Baseball postseason. In Game 3 of the World Series, the New York Mets amassed 14 hits in the game as they got the home victory against the Astros 6 to nothing. They take a two games to one series lead into Game 4. And that'll do it for today's postseason recap. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Now from City Field in Flushing, Queens, welcome to Major League Baseball on MLB Network. It's Game 4 of the World Series between the Houston Astros and the New York Mets. It's going to be a premier pitching matchup. Two of the league's hardest throwers go head-to-head -head next. Now batting, Michael Brantley. And we are set for baseball here tonight, this evening. Houston, the right fielder, Michael Brantley. First offering on its way. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. 7 5 The wind up and the 0 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Ready with the 0-2. Nope. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. And the skies are clear, but that's not helping the temperature much. 45 degrees here at first pitch. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. Got it, got it. So the base is empty here with one away. And that'll Alex. bring up the LSU product, Alex Bregman. Good bite to the slider, and he takes strike one. Look out as this bat shatters on impact. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Hey, I can understand why he wanted to elevate the fastball right there. This batter's eyes have been lit up since he stepped in the box. Let's see if he gets him fishing on something breaking in the third right here. To two balls and two strikes two now. Two strikes. Well, one thing about him, he's an absolute grinder at the plate. You can pretty much count on him battling at the plate every chance he gets. And a splitter that swung on and missed that time, and that'll be out number two. Number 44. And that's waved at and missed for strike one. I mean, that's almost an unhittable pitch right there. The downward action of that nasty split finger, add in the velocity in the high 80s, you ain't doing much with that. Swung on and missed. J.D. Davis, the next to bat. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Wide drive, snagged on a short hop. And a good throw gets him one gun. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And up next, the switch hitting Stanford product, Jed Lowry. Snatched out of midair at first base for route number two. That is good. So bases are empty Let's here with two man. gone. And Double that'll bring three. in Jeff McNeil. Line hard to center field. Springer is there and it's a three. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, George Springer. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Second inning starts with a fastball that misses. It's 1-0. Oh. Well, fans of good pitching are in for a treat today. What can we expect from today's matchup, guys? I know everyone loves the long ball, Matty, 
but this is why I pay the price of a ticket right here. Two of the game's best, two of the hardest throwers competing at the top of their game. Dan, you have to love this stuff. You know, Dero, we thought coming into this one it was going to be a low-scoring affair. Both of these pitches look like they're locked in early, and runs are going to be really difficult to come by. They both look like they're on point so far. That is it. The shortstop, Carlos. Well, too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Correa is undoubtedly one of the best hitters in baseball, especially against right-handed pitching. He tends to hit for both power and average, so he's certainly a big threat in matchups like these. Yeah, you can tell. He is just super confident against right-handed guys. I, I, you know, sometimes it's coincidence. Sometimes it's you don't see many lefties, Matty. But bottom line is, 75% of the time there's a right-hander on the mound, and this guy finds it. And the throw is in time to get him. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Peter Alonzo. He's set to lead the off the home thing. half of the second. Number 20. A swing and a ground ball to third. And that's the first out. Next up for New York, Michael Conforto. The right fielder. Michael. First delivery to him on the way. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Around first, digging for two. And he'll pull into second with one away. That is good. Here's the catcher, Wilson Ramos. His okay. career line against Garrett Cole. Ramos. Pretty average results, four for 15. He's also hit a couple of home runs against him. Left side. And that is through in the left field. The base hit. Pro comes into third now, so they're at the corners here with only one out. That is Stepping up now, Yoana Cespedes. And they're Go runners ahead. at the corners now. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hard hit toward the hole. And there's a base hit as the runner will score from third, and that gives the Mets a 1 0 lead. Into the box. Juan Lagarts. First pitch coming. Here it is. And that's cut on and missed 0 1. Line to the right side. That's in there. Base hit. And a good throw is going to hold that runner at third. So they're loaded now with only that one away. The pitcher. Bases are loaded here with one away. Weaver. And the pitcher strides into the batter's box here, Zach Wheeler. Now Tuve to his right. He has it over to Guriel for an inning ending. So striding forward now, Jose Altuve. 7-8-9, bottom of the order set to go here in the third. A splitter, but he started it too low as it bounces up to the plate. Oh, tough to catch up when it's moving like that. Ah, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone, one and two. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. The catcher, number 28. And the pitch. Robinson Torino. Here's a first pitch slider that just tails out of the zone. It's ball one. One and one to Chirinos. You know, when you're facing a top-of-the-line pitcher like this, he's going to be down around the knees like that more often than not. The key is punishing whatever mistakes he makes, but so far he hasn't made many. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. And he struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing a little resistance here, and there are two away. Here's a slider there, and he gets ahead of him, nothing in one. Oh, and he's finding his group out there now. It's 0-2. When you're facing a guy that threw it right past him, a swing and a... Back to the top of the order now, and into bed next will be J.D. Davis. Here's the first pitch to him. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. When a guy's featuring big-time velocity like this, you have to be on the fastball. It's your only chance. You'll tip your hat on. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there the for the first down. 
The one man guard yeah. for the Mets in the third. Lowry. And that'll bring in the shortstop, Jed Lowry. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. One strike now from Cole. Liner in there for a base hit. Stepping into the box, Jeff McNeil oh, hit it hard but lined good. out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like you did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Down the third baseline. A dive and oh, he can't hang on. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. So first and second with one man gone. And up steps the power bat of Peter Alonzo. Here comes the first pitch. Hit down the third baseline. Lowry at second. McNeil is over at first with one away. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Brantley is under it. Two down. Digging in for his second at bat, right Michael Conforto. Two on, two Michael. out for him here in the third. John Porto. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. This is lined to left, and that's in there. Base hit. Back on another here as the runner scores from second. Ready for another chance? Wilson Ramos. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit. And we'll have to leave it there as the play. Digging in, Michael Brantley. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. 2-0 to Brantley. Nope. 3-0. and If you're ever going to see a position player go to the mound, it's going to be in a situation like this. Get him to relax a little bit, focus on his mechanics, and get that fastball back in the zone. Can't allow this guy to lead off wall. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for out number one. And that'll bring up the former first-rounder, Alex Bregman. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. And that one right down Main Street. Counts even one and one to Alex Bregman. Ready on one and two. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Now that is. And that misses ball one. Astros still have yet to tally their first hit in this one. A little over anxious that time as it's a ball and a strike. A ball and two strikes to count now with the bases empty and two away. High and deep to right center. Back goes Lagares. And he makes a nice catch on the trip. So stepping in, Yoenis Cespedes looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. One of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. And there's a run away. Digging in now, Juan Lagares. He singled his last time up. Here comes the first pitch. Oh, he misses it. The pitcher, Zach Wheeler, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation. So let's see if that is indeed on right here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit out towards second. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now about it. Third so it's back to the top of the order JD. now. And into bed next will be J.D. Davis. Line hard to the left side. Lagares on second. Wheeler at first, one gone. 
And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. Brentley is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. The relay throw. The tag at third, and they got him a double. Here's George Springer. He'll start off the fifth in this one. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. They want to get things going. How about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. So earlier in the broadcast, we mentioned that we might be seeing a pitcher's duel today, and these two guys have certainly delivered on that promise. You know, Matt, sometimes it's really hard to put a finger on why a guy pitches well and why a guy is having a very difficult time. So far, he hasn't had a very good season. But you know this, when you have the stuff that this guy has, he's one out, one inning, one pitch away from turning things back around. And he's pitching more now like the guy we thought he was going to be. Two and one. And a big swing and a miss here. Two strikes. You know, you don't face too many guys that have thrown a nasty splitter like he has today. He's had this lineup off balance all game with that pitch. They'll stand alive, putting together a really good at-bat here. And he punches out another one. Make it nine for the ball game. Here's Carlos Correa now. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Hot shot to third. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And a great job to stick with it as he's able to. Here's Jed Lowry now. He scored after reaching on a single in his last time up. First pitch on its way. Fastball there to start him out. This is bounced foul for the first strike. This is on the ground over to first. Guriel scoops it up, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. The ball digging in to try it again. Jeff McNeil. First offering on its way. On the ground to the right side. Played on the backhand. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up steps the power bat of Peter Alonzo. Into center field, line drive base head. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And up next, the left handed hitting Michael Conforto. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that's through for a hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. So two on with two away. And next is the catcher, Wilson Ramos. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Hit hard down the line. 0-1. Oh, here's the pitch. Line toward right center. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. And a good throw will wind up holding that runner at third, so the bases become loaded now with two gone. Here's Juan Cespedes. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. You know, Matt, in every... Belted high and deep into right center. Gone! It's a grand slam! Josh James now, gets the four, call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort four, this now. mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Juan Ligares will be the first one to greet him as he'll start fresh here with the bases empty following the home run. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0-1. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. And he buys himself another pitch as this is fouled away to keep it at 0-2. Another 0-2 home. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. But a foul ball, and the count holds at 0-2. Line to the right side. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So the runner at first here with two down gone back. in the inning. And the pitcher strides back. into the batter's box here, Zach Three Wheeler. Four. First pitch coming. Here it is. Ground ball sent back up the middle. He's got it. On to Altuve for the force out. And Here's 
the second baseman, Jose Altuve. He's set to lead us off in the sixth inning. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. One and one to count. To one and two now. The one two. Misses ball two. Popped him up. Davis waits on it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now at the plate, Robinson Chirinos looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. And that swung on and missed on a pitch down 1 and 1. You know, we haven't seen that pitch from him in a while, but it looks like he's got pretty good feel for it. If he's going to pick and choose when he's going to use it, he could steal some strikes that way. A ball and two strikes from Zach Wheeler. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, two and two. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter in that one. And he please. struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. His career line against Wheeler, he's one for three. One ball, one strike to count. No runs, no hits, no errors in the ball game for the Astros to this point. And he misses two and one. Reddick, a native of Georgia. He was a 17th round pick during the first year player draft of 2006. Man, coming out of the late rounds, you have to grind for everything. Nothing is given to you. And this guy has turned himself into a very solid big league ball player. That's a big accomplishment. The next three, two. And this is hit high in the air and crossing into foul ground behind third. And no one will track it down. And he struck him out. So it might. Chris Davinsky gets the call to pitch here and he'll try to sort this mess.
out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Here comes the first pitch. Ground ball left side. Throw on to first and one third baseman grounds out to the other one away. One away now, now for batting. the Mets in the sixth. Not and up next, the switch hitting yeah. Stanford product, Jed Lowry. Lowry. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Down the first baseline. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Line towards center field. Springer is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Striding in, Jeff McNeil. He's got number a hit six. in three at bats to this point. First pitch of the at bat. Hard hit towards center. And a knock for him this time. He's two for four for the game. Up next will be the power bat of Peter Alonzo. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Yanked on the ground down the line. Oh, he makes the stop. Wow. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Game four is off to the seventh inning now, but before we get it started, let's check out our game summary to this point. Here's Michael Brantley. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as Wind up and the 0 1. On he pops it up. Davis into shallow left. He's there and records the first down. Now that first pitch of the at bat on its way. Strike one to start the at bat. Into the wind up. Here comes the 0 and 1. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But that'll get foul. It's 0 and 2 now. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Got him. So that's the second out of the inning. And he's seven outs away now. Now that. Number four. First pitch coming. Here it is. Behind 0 and 2 now. Crowds him a bit with a fastball there, and it's to 1 and 1. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Now here's a ball hit high and deep is straight away right field. Conforto going back on it. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in now the inning. The center fielder, George Springer. Fouled away. Wheeler gets the sign. Here's the 0-1. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. And certainly no offer at that one. It's one and two. This is one of those classic cases of the right guy at the right spot. They need to get a rally going, and this is maybe their best hitter, so he's the right guy in the right spot for this team right now. And a full count to George Springer. It's three and two. Here's a ball swung on and lofted in the air out toward right center. Ligares is under it, and the inning is over. Ladies and gentlemen. Hector Rondon gets the call from now the pen to take over on the mound. And Number 30, Hector Rondon.
Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. His past numbers against Hector Rondon. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at-bats. A swing by Conforto, and this is driven to deep right. And it's gone as they add still another. So the bases are clear now following the home run. And that will bring in the veteran catcher, Wilson Ramos. This is line to left. So he'll add one to his total as that falls in. He's got three hits in this one. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Joanna Cespedes. So far, two for three in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offer. Hit on the ground to third. Bregman fields it cleanly. On to first, and they get them both. Here's Juan Lagares now. He's got a base hit tonight. His past numbers against Hector Rondon. He's hitless in three at-bats. Heading out towards shallow right. Brantley is under it. Makes the catch and... Your Seth Lugo has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 50 Ready to deliver. Here's Seth. the first pitch. Right. Oh. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. Right. Swing and a miss and he's in the hole 0-2 now. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Normally not a good pitching plan to throw the same hitter the same pitch three times in a row. But both of those sliders back-to-back -back were so good, I might just go ahead and try to throw another one. And the throw will indeed take care of him for the first down. Coming to the plate now, Carlos Correa. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. 1-0 one and oh the count. That's inside. 2-0. Astro shortstop in front with a 3-1 count. Jose Altuve waits on deck. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. And this is taken in for the second out. Ready for another shot now. Jose Altuve. Past matchups against Seth Lugo. He's one for two. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Here's a slider to start things out, but it misses by a few inches or so. It's ball one. Popped him up. Davis has a play. And that's the third out. Joe Smith. Comes You're on right, to pitch now, please. hoping for better results the than the other forward. arms that they've run out there in this now one. And batting in the seventh. So here's the Mets pitcher, Seth Lugo. And he's Joe. getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after now entering off the bench just a little bit up. ago. Number nine. Line hard to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. Comes set with the 0-1. A bouncer to the left side. Bregman has it. Throw to first is in time for the first down. So the batting order turns over now and set to go J.D. Davis. He was a ground out victim last time up. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. This is line to left. And call that a nice clean base hit his first of the game. Into the box now, Jed Lowry. Now in terms of previous Not meetings with thought. Joe Smith, he's yeah. three for nine. First Lowry. pitch of the at bat. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Under it is the left fielder. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Digging in once again, Jeff McNeil. It's been a two for Number four six. effort for him so far in the ball game. First delivery to him on the way. He pulls this one into right. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Peter Alonzo. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. First pitch on its way. Line toward the gap in left center. And the two-out threat will not come to pass. 
stepping in, Robinson Chirinos. He went down on strikes last time up. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here, nothing and one. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind, nothing and two. Nope. Too high. One and two. One ball, two strikes, okay? Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Now He's set. Here it comes. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. When you have two strikes on you, as a hitter, if you get something that you can handle, you have to find a way to do some damage with it. That was a missed opportunity. So he sets him down swinging. Number nine. Retired, and now they're down to their final out in this one. Hit down the line at first. And he'll step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. And, fellas, when you're on the big stage here at the World Series, you want to make sure you bring the A game. And this man right here certainly did. He's our tops player of the game. And, Matty, I think you're absolutely right. Some guys just seem to thrive under the bright drive. lights of the World well, the Series. While other guys play. fade into the background. Run, he was brilliant in this one, no and this is they some well-earned recognition. Time of the ball game, two hours and 57 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at City Field. Welcome to the show, everyone. Thanks for making us a part of your morning. Let's jump into the latest news from around the Major League Baseball postseason. The New York... Tomorrow and all postseason long. MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball is on. Here's Michael Brantley. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Leading off tonight for Houston, the right fielder, Michael Brantley. First delivery to him on the way. And we are underway now in New York as the first pitch of the night is taken for ball one. A ball and a strike to Houston's leadoff batter. Temperature starting to drop as the sun goes down. 56 degrees here at first pitch. DeGrom has both great strikeout stuff and exceptional command on the mound to go with it. A rare combination, but one that makes him one of the best in our sport. Matty V, you talked about it. He doesn't walk a whole lot of guys. Well, if you don't walk a lot of guys, that means you have to throw the ball in the strike zone. And when you do with great stuff like this guy has, how he racks up the strikeouts. There aren't a lot of guys that get strikeouts by throwing the ball in the strike zone. This is one of the few that doesn't. And, oh, look out as he has to hop out of the way of the fastball there. Bases are empty, one man out. Weak grounder down the line at third. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Another one-two delivery. Hard hit ball to second. McNeil right there. And that's the second out. 
now to the plate, number 44. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Fastball off the plate away for ball one. Ball and two strikes to count now with the bases empty and two away. Not too often you see a changeup come across at 88 miles an hour on the... And we'll have to leave it there. J.D. Davis the next to bat. It leaves things off here in the bottom half of the first. The third Here's baseman. the first pitch now from Granke. David. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. Springer giving chase. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. So that one away that. here with the bases That's empty. Shortstop. And that'll bring in the yeah. shortstop, Jed Lowry. Lowry. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. Uriel picks it up. And he'll take it onto the bag himself. Two gone now here in the third. 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 Standing baseman. in, Jeff Number McNeil six. looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Hit hard on the ground to second. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Up next will be the power bat of Peter Alonzo. He takes baseman. his first cuts in this one Number with a man 20. at first and two away. McNeil, the runner at first with two gone. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And that finds its way through for a base hit. In now, Michael Tonforto. Looking to make it three straight two out hits here. He's got a runner in scoring position at second. Shoots this one over to first. Guriel brings it in, and he'll step on. Here's George Springer. He'll get us started in the top of the second. The center field ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Springer. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. That pitch just had too much velocity on it for you to catch up to that. Unless you're cheating to a high fastball above the belt, and you're all in. I say you got to find a way to lower your sights or it's going to be a tough game. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. I think if he executes that pitch on the corner instead of off of it, he probably gets some pretty weak contact, if anything. He jammed him pretty hard on the previous pitch, so my bet was he was going to try to cheat on the inside part, thinking it might be coming again. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. So the base is empty here with one away. And digging into bat next, the Cuban import, Yuli Gurriel. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And foul. The 0-2 once more. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Classic change of speeds right there. Threw the hitter's timing off. Got a late foul ball. Interested to see where he goes now. Swing and a miss on the breaking pitch. Two away. That is it. The shortstop. First Hard. offering on its way. Correa. Here's a curveball that runs outside. It's ball one. Correa. Sometimes called Show Rea. It was selected in the first round during the first year player draft of 2012. Yeah, Matty, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Late making contact on that swing, and we'll do it again on one and two. They'll try again one, two. And the slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. And a great inning here as he gets another. 
into the box now. Wilson Ramos. He set to lead off the home half of the second. The catcher. First pitch on its way. Hit on the ground to third. Bregman gloves it. And there's one down now. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And up next, the big RBI-minded bat of Yoenis Cespedes. Lifted in the air out the center field. Springer has a read on it. Two down. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up a former gold glover. Here's Juan Lagares. Hit softly on the ground to third. On to first, and can you believe it? A th Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Now a fastball to start the third. That misses. It's ball one. Two balls and a strike to Jose Altuve. Two one. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Three ball count right now. This looks like the best chance of getting a base runner on so far. And he'll put this one away for the first out of the inning. One out now in the Houston third. And that'll bring up the catcher, Robinson Chirinos. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. One and one to Chirinos. That's not an easy pitch to do anything with, right? 96 miles an hour in on the hands. You almost have to be looking for that pitch to be able to do anything with that. A two and two count to the Astros catcher. Two and two. Full count now, three and two. Swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. First pitch coming. Here it is. Swing and a miss on a ball inside. 0-1. And, a swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. You know, when you're facing a top-of-the-line pitcher like this, he's going to be down around the knee. A swing and a miss. That... So here now is the pitcher, Jacob DeGrom, we as we move on to the bottom of inning number the three. Jacob DeGrom. Line toward the gap in left center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Back to the top of the order now, and into bed next will be J.D. Davis. J.D. Davis. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Line toward center field. Springer is there, and he has it for the first out. Here's Jed Lowry now. 0 for the 1 for him four. here in this one. Shortstop. Jed. First delivery Lowry. to him on the way. Into right field. That's a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now batter. So striding Number in, six. Jeff McNeil. He reached on a single in his first try. Line drive to center field. Springer is there now, and he has it to God. Coming to the plate now, Peter Alonso. And he can give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Frankie comes set. Here's the first pitch. Hit swung on and missed the throw. It's there. He's out trying to take... Stepping into the box, Michael Brantley. He's 0 for 1 thus far. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. And he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. The third baseman, number two. First offering on its way. No balls in one strike. The windup and the 0 1. Astros still have yet to tally their first hit in this one. 
And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. Number 44. Ready now. Number 44 comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 and 1. You know, that can really be an effective pitch to a guy that has a lot of pop. They're up there looking for a fastball up in the zone. So if you can place it a little above it, they have a hard time getting the barrel up there. Nope. Up high, two and one now. That's a good take on that fastball there. You know he's looking for something up there to drive, but that was just a little above his happy zone. Not everyone has the discipline to hold back on those. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And he struck him out. His eighth. And next will be the Mets cleanup hitter, Peter Alonso. He'll lead it off against Zach Greinke to open up the inning. Number 20. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. The 0-1. Grounder down the line at third. Uh, this will get foul for strike two. Lifted into center field. Springer has a read on it. One down. So one away here now with the bases right empty. Fielder. And up next, the left-handed hitting Michael Conforto. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. Little guessing game going on right now. Being late on that fastball after the change, he had to be sitting off speed right there. Hit well towards the hole. Now Tube has it. Go on to first is in time, and Grinky's got himself two outs. Here's the catcher, Wilson Ramos. Grinky's ready. Here comes the first pitch. Softly hit to short. Correa fields it cleanly. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at Stepping in and ready for another shot, George Springer. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. and Fastball got him to swing through it. It's 1-1. One and one. The 1-2. One is swung on and missed. He got him. So the base is empty here with one away. And digging into bat next, the Cuban import, Yuli Guriel. 0 and 1 the count. No runs, no hits, no errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. Behind 0 and 2 now. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. So two are gone for the Astros in the fifth. And the former number one overall pick in American League Rookie of the Year, Carlos Correa, bats next. One ball, no strikes to count. Swing and a miss. Blew it right by him at 96. It's a ball and a strike. High in the air out towards shallow right. Conforto coming on. He tracks it down, and that will end.